What's up, everybody? It's Heat Override, and I'm ready to break the pain for you this week to the job market. Yeah! Oh, ho, 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 ho. you didn't think I wasn't going to leave y'all alone long enough, did you? You thought that I wouldn't come after any of you? Oh, I'll come after y'all. But I'm not really going to come after you. I just want to talk about it. I just want to talk about it. I want to make, you know, get the get it in the air of what's going on. So after COVID, of course, we heard jobs, job, the job markets. We have nobody to work here. Of course, I can tell. I go to these places, right? And I'm like, man, where's everybody at? There ain't nobody working because nobody wanted to work because they got free money, right? Well, at the same time, now we're back. Now we're years removed. Now people are back. Now people got to get jobs, right? And these jobs are straight up acting like a fool. Like, I can't tell you enough. I mean, of course, if you go back to a log of my younger po- or earlier podcasts in my catalog, you will see that at the same time, I have had this discussion many times. But the problem is, is what ends up happening with jobs is that jobs always want their employees to work hard for them. That's not a problem, okay? And that's not saying anybody else should, shouldn't work hard. You should definitely work hard. Believe me, nobody works hard around me. That's just the way it is. I get that there's sometimes great workers around and stuff like that. And I might piss a few people off that have worked with me over the years. But at the same time, I am that guy. I'm that guy that literally goes extra. The problem is, is jobs and employers do not go extra for you or me or anybody else. And there's a facade out there. The facade says that the the, the job market is thriving. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's thriving because they're not paying anybody any money. That's the problem. And a lot of people are still using the good old COVID excuse, the Rona mania tagged here first on Bring the Pain. And to me, that's just it. So there are good jobs out there. I have a few friends that actually have good jobs, work for good people, families, families, because that's probably that's practically the key. You have to be able to work for, find a job, a career within like a family owned business that has been well sustained for a lot of years, of course, and that can keep this going. So when you start that job, you're, you're going to start at the bottom, you have bottom pay, and you're going to work your way up through reviews and raises and everything about it. You actually exceed what you're looking for and you get paid. I have a friend, a longtime friend, a guy that actually made my Bring the Pain music. He has had this job. He started his job right around when I started my job being a general manager at a pizza shop. And I was getting paid salary. I was getting paid money. But there were minimums. I had to be there 50 hours. I had to do this. I had to do that. So that was fine. I succeeded those things. I I exceeded that as well, too. I worked at other stores. You know, my wife at the time was working and they took care of us. But unfortunately, that job did end and I had to move on. When I moved on, it, I went right. I kept in the pizza. So I stayed in the pizza business for a long time because one, there was a lot of money Two, a lot of people would actually give you raises and then they would, you know, you'd have to slave, make a thousand million pizzas. But that was OK. That was OK. Because the thing is, is that, you know, even when I was with Papa John's, and I got a raise as a driver and I was making more than the managers. People are like, well, why? Because I was better than the managers. I, they, I should have been a manager. But the problem is, is I've always turned down positions like that because I see what they do. I see what employers do to people. They make them skeletons of them former selves. They literally suck you dry from this human being that you are prior to nothing. And they say, well, hey, buddy, you can pay your bills and And, you know, there was a quote that was said to me a lot, a lot. Like these people think that money is just the all time high, right? This quote was said to me. It's this person said, she said, she goes, doesn't it feel good to have money that you can rely on now and things like that? I'm like, "Uh, you know what? I had money before this place and I could rely on it. This was supposed to be a lot more relaxing. She was just trying to say that this was a better job. The problem is, is that they didn't know that I got paid a manager's wage and I was delivering pizzas, getting a lot of tips. So with that being said, you know, everything was claimed anyway. So that is why I keep saying that these jobs are changing. When you look at it right now, look, I I see Uber, Uber Eats drivers delivering Papa John's. So now Papa John's, Pizza Hut, all these other places 
they're not even, that's why they don't want to pay their drivers. And that's why they're backing a lot of these businesses like Uber. So they don't have to pay that, that driver. Because while I was at one of those, while I was at Papa John's, they were sued in the class action lawsuit and lost. And the drivers got $3,000 each. And matter of fact, they scared a lot of drivers into not getting that money. Do you see the theme of this podcast right now? I am saying that this shenanigans has been going on for way too long. And I'm sick and tired of it. You give an employee an interview, but I think the employers should be interviewed. I think the employers should also, in a formal setting, this should be happening like with a mentor in the middle. Not either side cannot choose that person. That is how interviews should start happening for good jobs going into the future. And that would provide and it would help with a lot of misconceptions of jobs. You know, when you get hired at a job and they say, hey, this is a job. And you're like, oh, this is cake. So you start doing the job, right? And next thing you know, a bunch of other stuff, like always, is stumped on you. And that's fine. There's no reason not to try to help everybody out. But when more and more gets dumped on you and you look at everybody else sitting around doing nothing and nothing's getting dropped on them, why? 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 Oh, because you're trustworthy. So if I'm trustworthy, then why don't you show it in my wage? But they don't. They don't show it in anybody's wage. It doesn't matter who you are or what you walk of life you come from. They're not going to give you a raise. They're going to give you, they'll give you a good benefit or they'll say, hey, we offer Aflac. What's Aflac? It's just more money you're going to lose from your check. And by the end of the day, you're literally paying out 50 bucks a month. That's now become an electric, well, an old school electric bill for a lot of people. And at the same time, now you have another bill because you have that, you, you have Aflac. And then you have to pay for your insurance. So now you have two bills. You see what I'm saying is that they're not helping. And back in the day, when I was a general manager getting paid a salary's wage, my insurance was paid for 100%. That's the way it should have been done. That way you could keep yourself healthy for that business, right? No. Now these businesses are having problems keeping their employees healthy because there's nobody protecting them and they don't want to go out of their own pocket to help their employees. Right. So and this has no no if ands or buts or any trends towards any of my jobs or anything like that. I'm I'm not a disgruntled employee. I am definitely well taken care of. However, there are flaws at my job. And those flaws are have been mentioned in this podcast throughout. And that's the same flaw that comes with every job, unfortunately. But my problem is is why when does it become enough? When when does the when do the employers go? Wait a minute, we 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 have a structure. We're supposed to stick to it, but then they don't stick to that structure, and they change things and they change things on the fly. You know that's exactly what happened when when COVID hit. When COVID hit, everybody had to change. I didn't want to change, of course, like most people, and I couldn't change. I couldn't wear a mask. There's just problems, breathing problems, nose problems, and my doctor goes, Rob, I cannot. I can't say this right now. They're telling us, do not write that excuse. And I looked at him and I was like, well, why? And he was like, honest, it's because it's that way. And that's all he could say. He, didn't, he actually moved out of the state only, I'd say, a few months later. He moved into another state because he didn't like it here in Pennsylvania. And that was him. That was a movie. I'm sure he's making money. He was a great dude. He was a great doctor. He was a doctor for like 20 years, man. He, he, did, he was just an awesome guy. But he couldn't do it. And that's because... They were scared of the government, of, of course, the enforcers, and, of course, of people losing their job. And because their jobs, because their employers were going to bend over backwards for all of, their, all of their customers or their accounts to make sure that they're happy. And that's what happened. I watched great accounts die during COVID. And I was like, all right, well, that's cool. But now they're coming for their money, and they're coming for their money by not giving it to you. They're coming for their money by not offering you things. They're coming for the money telling that if you don't do a good job, you're going to get fired, right? So, and they're selective too. Like even after I hurt my leg and I decided to come back and I just, I was getting interview after interview. Once they heard I hurt my leg, I was done. My original job, my coffee job practically got rid of me because I got hurt. It was the ex, it was the perfect way for them to say goodbye to me. Now that, that decision was made and based on one person's personal opinions. And I don't care if she listens to this or anybody listens to this. It was her personal opinion that she jaded, that she tried. But the problem is, is that she was telling me 
and the boss lady was telling me that things were going to go that way and it weren't going that way. When they took my when they took my vacation, that pissed me off and that that made the podcast I hate masks. Yes, you have to be a supporters club member to actually hear that one. So go join up $2 supporters club and you can listen to me eviscerate that company. But I didn't say one word. I didn't say one name. I didn't say one thing. I just said, again, when it comes to bring the pain, this isn't, you're not going to get the hunky dory answer. I'm going to give you a hunky dory answer. I'm going to give you a gray area answer. And I'm going to give you what you don't want to hear because that's why I'm called bring the pay. So when you sit there and you continuously look at these people doing this to these employees, and then you're working hard, working your ass off and you can't even get a raise. You can't get anything. It sucks. So a lot of times at that job, I didn't get a raise for three years. And then it ran right into COVID. And I became too expensive for that job to afford. So yes, the knee injury was a way out. My next job, I didn't have no control. And everybody there was hell-bent on control. So I just kept to myself. And I just did my job. And I made money. And that's what you should do as an employee. You should just do your job. But the problem becomes when these other employees that make more money than you are sitting around constantly. When they're sitting around Other employees see it and they don't want to tell on somebody because you work with these people all the time, but it's really unfair. It's really unfair that this dude gets to sit on his ass all the time and that's okay. But this guy's running around the building the entire time or running around the shop or running around making a thousand pizzas or running around the city of Erie making these things and and he's not getting any credit. You don't get credit. That's another thing that's gone. The good jobs are gone. You don't get a good job. You go, hey, you might get a pat on the back. But I will, I will guarantee this. If you go to almost all, if you, if you interview 100 people and ask them when's the last time they got a good job from their employer, the actual boss, boss, not the manager, the boss, boss, I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be in the lower percentage. I'm going to say it's probably under 40%. And that's sad. That's sad that people actually allow that to happen and, and don't speak up. See, with me, that's the problem with me is that I can go to work and I can be the greatest employee ever, which I am. I'm an amazing employee. I should have had two raises at my current job currently right now, but I don't. I don't have that because that just can't be afforded. It's not affordable. You have to wait for these things to be voted on, blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. I'll just sit there. But then I have a podcast I can come home to and I can talk about things like jobs and I can talk about things like burgers and I can talk about sports and give out bets and give out dfs lineups tell people win money while i win money that's how i make my extra money i make my money and i keep it low and i keep it playing and then i do a lot of content and everything like that that also keeps me humble on the side it's another job that i do so therefore technically i have two jobs and that i don't mind i do and that makes me you know i i'm sitting here working and that doesn't make me better there might be somebody with four jobs i get it you have four jobs wow right that's crazy, man. Why are you working 24 hours a day? What is it really going to get you at the end of the day? It's going to get you nothing. You can't take that money with you to the casket. It doesn't get, you, you don't do that. That's what I'm talking about, is I think that a lot of the respect for the employees has been lost and has never been there from the employer. And that's how you make money. Again, this is, this is why they say keep things personal or don't keep things personal, keep a business. Because they don't want it. But the thing is, it does get personal. Because people look forward to raises. People actually look forward to having a little more money to maybe they can plan a trip with their family. Or maybe they want to take that little bit of extra money and put a little more on their retirement because they're getting up there in age. Did they ever think of that, employers? Do you ever think of that, employers? I don't think so. And that's why you have people like me and people like everybody else out there that are just not happy with the way the job system is created. I think employers should be interviewed and I think employers should actually be checked and, and have it taken. I think that if you have it, I, I know some companies might have 800 employees across the, the whole nation. Well, then you go to those employees, you have people come out. How many times do you see all these surveys companies trying to get, get the survey, go there. Are you happy? But you're going to have to pull them aside because if they're in their establishment, they will not be able to answer that question 
truthfully, because they're going to have to lie because that's what their job wants them to do. Their job wants them to lie, just like their job does when they talk about them and they think they, you are 100% repla- replaceable. I am replaceable. At any moment, I, get, I, I could lose my job, right? But I don't lose this job. I don't lose this job because I make this job. This is my job. This is who I am. This is what I make. I am the boss. And I say that for a reason. And I say that because that's who I am. Because nobody tells me to do with my podcast. And that did come up at a previous job. They tried to tell me what to do or what I couldn't talk about. And that's the problem is when I have guests on, I cannot contain and I will not contain for the guests. I will let them talk as much as they want. And I think, honestly, what's really sad is that this company also went on and listened to my podcast and found a podcast from what they heard, you know, things. And then they went and they listened to it and then they developed a personal gripe with me. Now, that's a personal gripe. That is not a business gripe. So therefore, my business side of things should not be affected. But they were. They were because this person said, when I don't like you, I'm going to make sure you get removed from this company. Oh, that's so beautiful, man. That's so beautiful. That's the type of people that lead these people. That's the type of people that do not play well in my book, you know, because I'm going to say something, whether it be on my podcast or I'm going to speak up. Now I speak up because now life has changed now. I'm not scared. I will speak up and I will say my feelings that I think that I'm being wrong. And guess what? I have. And I see, but the thing is, it's like what I found funny about this whole thing, and I hope a lot of you found funny, but makes you really think, is that they have all this time to monitor your online. They have all this time to go listen to an hour and a half podcast back then. They have all this time to do that, but they don't have any of that time to thank you for your job, to thank you for the service that you provide for them, to thank you for coming to work every single day, to thank you for not calling off like the next guy who... Had makes more money than you, by the way. We all know those people. People make more money, call off, always the problems in the manager's office. That's how you actually make more money. You have to be an asshole. But if you're not an asshole, they walk all over you. And that, and that happens. And you'll always find somebody at a business with enough power to walk all over your ass. And that is wrong. And when they're spoke up against, the employer just gets their back anyway. So that's why people don't speak up against these people. That's why the employers are just employers now. Nobody cares about what you make your bottom dollar. Nobody cares because you're all, you're all shady. We all know you're shady. You wouldn't be in the business in, in, in this business if you weren't shady. Right. And I'm, and this does not go for every business. Well, I know some amazing business owners, amazing business owners, but in the end, a few great, amazing Super business owners does not make up for the rest of you business owners that are just literally complete scum. Have a great day, everybody. And always remember to bring the raise. Woo!